Hey everybody, this is Tina, um, coming to you with another dream about, okay, this is the second dream, well, this, I've been having a lot of dream of the RFID chip, the Mark of the Beast, and you guys have not been watching anything, you know, or at least for a while, but then I have, I've been having this dream, guys, telling me something, you guys, um, in this dream, I was looking out in the sky, I was like, I was pointing, I was like, Ma, I was a little child. I was like six years old. I was like, Mom, look at that. Look at the star. But I saw the sun. The sun is a star. And then I saw another planet, which is Comet Ison. On November 28th, you can see the Comet Ison or the planet X visible to the, the human eye. You can actually see it. And God said, when you see these things, know that I am close even at the door. Your redemption draws nigh. And the funny thing is, right when I woke up, I, yeah, I saw the number 99. And it says redemption. It says redemption. And, uh, I'm, and I Google up and see what 99 means in the Bible. It means um, the glory of God and uh, perfection, maybe. Something like that. Uh, yeah. Hold up. It means here, it is right here, uh, 99, means seal, seal, like God is, God is sealing the people right now as we speak, you are, God is literally sketching down who's going to be saved, who's not going to be saved right now, I mean, right, right now, like God said, after the, like I understand, after, after the rapture, in the tribulation, this is what I understand what God what God is trying to tell me. Let the righteous be righteous still. Let the wicked be wicked still. Let the holy be holy still. So whatever you are right now, once the rapture happens, once the trigger starts, whatever route you're taking, you're only gonna excel in that route. So if if you don't change if you're wicked right now and if you don't change your course back to God you're going to excel in that course of wickedness. And that's what I felt my brother was. Like, he was, like, extremely wicked. Like, I don't even know him wicked. You know what I mean? I was like, what the heck is this? You know what I mean? Like, I was fearful of him, how wicked he was in the dream. You know what I mean? Like, he was like, okay, let me explain you for in the dream. This is my same brother. Well, I don't want, well, whatever. But so, anyways, this is what happened. Um, in the dream, after we see that, we went inside the house, and I was like, there was a whole bunch of troops coming to the house, and I know these troops are so evil, they're tracking people down to enforce the mark of the beast, the RFID chip installed right here on the right hand, and or on the forehead, it will print on the forehead, you would have a spiritual mark on the forehead after you put the RFID chip, there's no forgiveness when you put on this mark, you guys, okay, I'm telling you right now, and then I um, I was like, oh snap, I closed all the curtains so they don't spot us, but I knew they were eventually coming to get us Like in the dream. I knew what to do where my family was like they don't know what the heck's going on They don't know what's going on. So in the dream my other cousin had a dream that I was guiding them like I'm guiding them now, you know how I'm gu How I'm guiding them now is how I'm gonna guide them, but I think I'm gonna have a spirit supernatural body I'm, I'm hoping okay this, this is what's gonna happen when I get raptured out I'm gonna have a supernatural body where I'm, I'm gonna be able to come back here possibly if that's on my choice whether I want to come back um, I'm pretty sure once I come back they'll start listening to me more because hello it's actually happening and they cannot not believe me you know what I mean like Right now, they're like, oh, this girl, she's annoying, she's stupid, and, and she's a, a, a fanatic, she's crazy, whatever. But once the rapture happens and tribulation hit, when everything, all destruction break loose, all hell break loose, they're like, oh, snap, she was right. And then so when, when I come back to the earth, you know, I'm, I'm going to have a lot of abilities. I think I'm going to have a supernatural body or something because this is what God is informing me. The Bi it's all in the Bible, you guys, that we that we are going to be transformed into morals, okay? So, um, and then so everybody's going to be transformed into morals for that matter.
but um got the one that's going to be left behind is going to you know a lot of destruction they're not going to be able to die because god wants them to witness what they what they did they've rejected god and god wanted to let them see the the outcome of the consequence of sin the outcome of disobedient uh rebellion you know and and not having god in their life you know and so how do you know you got god in your life when you obsessively talk about him all the time and you can't stop that that's when you know you got god and he's your number one in your life that's how you know that god's the only yeah basically literally okay i can't stop talking about god if i wanted to you know what i mean okay so what happened was when in the tribulation they're going to start listening more because obviously everything have happened everything i've said was true so they would listen to my lead you know what i mean so what happened was you know i i didn't see myself but i see, okay what happened was i led my family my mom my dad my aunt, three of my cousins tung tai and chin out into we were, we were riding a bicycle we were running because the bible says when you see the abomination or destination run run to the mountains run somewhere don't be at home because that's the very first place they're gonna go is go into the home and track you down so God say run and I was riding a bicycle while I was running there was no electronics okay because I knew all electronics cell phones uh, computers cars everything has a GPS on it so we could not run with so we, I end up driving this bike that could like hold like a whole bunch of people my mom dad cousin everything we were running somewhere like I knew where I was running in the dream for some reason that I knew where I was letting them to like spiritually I knew where I was going because I felt like this was installed in me from God or whatever. And, you know, I think I have this supernatural um, lip, lip lipstick or chapstick. I told my assist, my my cousin, Chin, to wear a rub it on her bottom, her lip constantly, you know, constantly. I don't know if this means repentance or whatever the chapstick mean, but when, when she was wearing it, it covered for the whole family that we were like so supernaturally invisible to the humanity so we could run for it you know like they couldn't see us even if they, if they tried you know what i mean like they ran to the house and seek for us but we weren't there we already ran for it and even though we're run out in the streets they couldn't see us because we had this supernatural thing and um okay and so what happened was um um three of my cousins well all three of my cousins got down. They're like, freak this, screw this. Like, in the tribulation, it would be so bad because, you know, the people is gonna, the people that don't want to receive the mark, he's going to have to eat out of garbage, starve and thirst by day. You know, like, they're going to starve and they're going to thirst. They're going to live out on the streets. They're going to be running and hiding most of the time. And so, my two cousins, they're like, freak this, screw this. I'm like, shoot, I ain't trying to live like this. So they got off the bike and they just kind of went their own way. I was like, oh my goodness, like, you know, I couldn't stop them. That's that's their choice. That's their decision. Like, there's nothing I could uh, do to stop them. That's, you know, God say in the Bible, and the ones that endure to the end shall be saved. So this is your, this is your, your outcome, your, in, your, your punishment for not seeking God now. Okay? If you don't see God now, you're going to have to endure horribly, rough, rush, okay? It's going to be rough in the tribulation, No, It's not going to be pie anymore, okay? You will not have a peaceful day, okay? Compare these days, these days will be paradise, okay? I'm telling you, you're going to be running. There will not be any sleep, okay? Hardly, okay? If you have two hours of sleep a day, you'll be lucky. You know, I'm telling you, it's going to be real bad. I don't think people understand how bad tribulation is going to be. So what happened was my sister Chen, she was like, she was totally believing me, but she didn't want to have to endure this crap either. So she was lingering in the middle. She was still deciding, I don't know what, which path she's continue to live bad or live good and, and sell your soul. You know what I mean? Once you put on this mark, you're damn, you're screwed. And there's no turning back. There's no forgiveness. Let me make this straight for y'all, okay? There's no forgiveness. Okay, so in the tribulation... Like right now, you don't really know who's saved, who's not. But in the tribulation, when somebody have this mark, the, the it will imprint in their forehead spiritually that 
you are rejected. You know, you reject God, so God's going to reject you. And, and you rather follow man and trust man instead of trusting God in this horrible time. And you seal your faith when you put on that mark. But I guess, you know, um, but if you put on this mark and you didn't want to, you are f or I think there's some way that you can take it off. But you have to cut yourself and remove it and, and repent because this is some serious stuff. Like... You would literally have to cut your hand and remove it. But a lot of people that have this mark, they will be addicted to this mark. This mark will be the the coolest crap ever. I'm not even telling you. I'm you're gonna be like you're gonna be connected to the world, you know, like if any news or anything, it's gonna be instantly download into your brain. It, you're gonna be like a computer. You you're literally gonna be you're gonna be infused with the computer, the society, everything is gonna be connected, joined together, so nothing is hidden. All your credit card, everything you do is nothing's hidden. So, um, you know, and it's, it's really cool. Like, you don't have to pay at the register. You just go out and then everything's paid for at the door. You know, it's just high tech crap. It's very advertising. Let me tell you, okay. It's a very, very, you know, the bad people would think it's a very genius idea. High tech stuff, but they don't know the wickedness behind it. It it uh it changes your spiritual and physical DNA. It makes you wicked like 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 hell. Like it makes you wicked. And I didn't even recognize my brother in the dream. Like okay, what happened was we sat at a place. Okay, my brother woke. The oldest one was somehow he didn't put the mark on, but he already had the mark. Like I don't know if he did put on the mark. I didn't see him put on the mark, but I knew he had the mark. Like in my last dream, he he didn't have the mark, but I knew he he is the mark for some for some reason. Like like he didn't ha he didn't physically install it, but in his heart, he has already taken the mark. And if a per a normal person look at his life, he's like, okay, like you know, you don't really, ch you know, you don't really see anything, you know, bad, even though he has a kid two another one on the way but you know he's really not married yet you know he you gotta do that you gotta say your vows and stuff before marriage it has to be official you know what i mean i don't think he had done it official so technically he is fornicating you know even though he has two kids and he's living together with his wife and they have a joint account but as long as they're not in the church and doing their vows or whatever or whatever then it's not official that's what I think, but I don't know. And and things that he does, he doesn't think it is a sin, but I think it is a sin because I think the way God thinks. God is so righteous. God is so holy. It's ridiculous. Like one time I was doing a pedicure for this girl. Well, I was many times I was doing nails. I was doing like a quick job. I was rushing them. And in a way they felt like they were robbed. Technically, I did rob from them. And God, I didn't think I was robbing from them, but then God... It's such a just God. He's like, yeah, you did rob from them. Just let you know how just God is and holy God is. And so that was what my case of my brother. He steals a lot of things, which he doesn't think that he's stealing it. But to God, he is stealing. He is justified in himself. Okay. Unless you talk to God, you're basically justifying, adjusting the rules to your liking, to your standard. If you're not going with God rules, you're going to what, what you think is good, what you think is right. And I'm not saying I don't do that, but I used to do that and I didn't know because I really didn't have a personal relationship with God. So, you know, that's what, that's what my brother is doing and he doesn't realize that, you know what I mean? He's justifying himself. So I'm telling you, that's just one sample of how just God is. There's so much other stuff. God is so, that's why God said, you know, people know religion, but they don't know God. You know, just let you know how. And anyways, let's continue. And then he was sitting on this table and he was trying to persuade my mom and dad to put on some mark. And I was telling my dad to go down in the basement. So I tell him, do not put it on. This is all a scam. This is all a trick. Wilk has already taken on the mark. They're, don't follow him. You're going to be screwed, dad, you know. But my dad was like trying to use electric, trying to use a phone and whatever. And I'm like, no phone, dad. All the phone and all the uh, electronics are contaminated with the devil. So don't even try to use it. You know what I mean? And so my brother was getting impatient. He was, he was trying to 
rat on us. That's ex the reason why he hasn't rat on us because we are his family. But then he was trying to say it a nice way for a family to put it on. But we, when we come to a point that we refuse to put it on, he went and rat on us and told the community and society or, you know, you know, because he, you know, that, you know, my family don't have this mark. So whatever. And he, he that's literally what he did. He rat on us that we don't have the mark. Go and get them and have them put on the mark. So this is what I think. He might not think this now or whatever, but in the tribulation when he received the mark, he was like, oh, snap, I'm I'm screwed. I'm going to hell. So I might as well bring more people to hell. My family, too, because if I'm if I'm going to hell, everybody's going to hell because he's going to think like the devil. You know, he's going to literally he is the devil. No, I'm not saying he is the devil, but he has a devil spirit. OK, like some somebody can be partially possessed by the devil spirits. So when you do sin, you open up the spirits for them to come in you know you gotta fast and repent and, and, and acknowledge your wrong to get rid of them and and pray to get rid of them because once they come into your temple spirits can actually come into your body y'all okay a lot of people don't know this you know i don't want to get into that but what happened was my brother he rat on us you know he couldn't convince us so he rat on us he's like screw it if i'm not going to heaven you know why are you guys using my RFID chip to buy your food and whatever? You know, you put on this and you buy it yourself and you be screwed too because I'm not going to be screwed for you guys to enjoy it. You know what I mean? I think this is what he's going to think. You know what I mean? Because he knows he's screwed already because he has a mark. So he's like, and then my parents, is after they finish the food here, they're going to ask him to buy food with his RFID chip. And he's like, why am I doing that? You know, like, I'm screwed. Why don't you guys get the RFID chip? It would possibly be easier. And, and you know, it'll save him a complication of having to go over here and purchase food for them all the time. You know, with their account. Because my dad and mom is not going to be able to buy any more food. Or be able to uh, um, work or buy or sell. Even if they have money. They're not going to be able. So basically my brother will have to support them. Because they have money and they can't use it. And they, they they can't keep a job. And they when they buy. So basically my brother had to take care of everybody. And he wasn't down for that. You know what I mean? And he wasn't down for that. And and when when everything becomes. After the in the tribulation. Everything becomes expensive. It's impossible to take care of them. You know when, when food is going to be. Uh much much more expensive there won't be any food left to purchase that's how bad it's gonna be it's gonna be really bad so um i just want to tell you the severeness of the tribulation a lot of people is not going to make it and they're just going to go ahead go ahead put on the marks make it easy but you guys this life is only seven years and god said he shortened those seven years because it's so bad but um you gotta endure the people in the tribulation got to endure there's there's because you guys are not